Welcome back to uh, Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage of Stanford Excel Symposium. I'm John Furrier with Silicon Angle. This is theCUBE, our flagship program, where we go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise. The Cube is part of Silicon Angle TV's new format. We bring live coverage at the events where all the social media is happening, all the social interactions, and uh, we're proud in our fourth year. My next guest I'm really excited to have here, Martha Russell, who's the Executive Director of Media X at Stanford University. Martha, welcome to the Cube. Thank you, John. We're very happy to have Excel partners here with us today at Stanford University. This is the 17th year that Stanford Excel Symposium has uh, taken place on campus. MediaX and Excel have been partners uh, since the creation of MediaX about 11 years ago. So obviously this event is um, about this symposium. Talk about what you were announcing up here today. You obviously kicked it off and introduced Excel. Talk about a little bit about this event and then we can dig into all the amazing things that MediaX is doing. Well, this event brings together the thought leadership of uh, Stanford University with the interest that Excel Partners has in um, understanding the kind of grassroots driven, uh, high value, high impact businesses that are created not only in Silicon Valley, but around the world. Uh, the focus for this meeting on uh, transforming the 21st uh, century enterprise is an especially relevant uh, topic for us because at MediaX we have been working for the past couple of years on research that will help to inform, produce new insights on how uh, we measure and improve the productivity of knowledge workers. Uh, the, very seminal to uh, the conversations that we've had today. So one of the things I've been very impressed with about Media X is you're, it's the future of media, it's the future of work, it's the future of play. Stanford has a great reputation of having this kind of interdisciplinary and partnership. Um, so you're not just a think tank, you're not just an academic component. Talk about the unique nature of Media X because you bring you know, expertise in research, you bring some partnering with the industry, and how does that all work? Explain to the folks about well, the formula, we let me or, say or did we, I get that right? We tap the expertise of Stanford Labs and the thought leaders at Stanford University. We tap them with questions that come from the business community. We're looking three to five years out to say, what do we want to start studying now? So that in three to five years, we'll be smart will have the fundamental science with broad applicability that will allow us to create the insights that the products uh, and technologies of the future will require. So our process is, you're right, in a way that we tap the Stanford thought leaders, but we challenge them with questions about the future. We want to do science that's relevant to business, and it turns out that in the course of doing that, uh, some new technologies, some new insights are created that benefit both our strategic partners, our members, and that some of the students take with them out into new startups as they graduate. So it's a, it's a melting pot of kind of everything kind of coming together, right? Yeah, but it's a catalyst. Catalyst, yeah, okay. Yes, it is. And give an example for the folks out there of something recently that you can point to that would be um, Well, uh, one example that I can mention, uh, is uh, one of the projects that was sponsored by, funded by MediaX uh, under the challenge of how do you measure and increase the productivity of knowledge workers. And uh, one of the graduate students had the idea that if you look at the way that um, files that are stored on an enterprise server are used and accessed by team members who are codependent on information, you get an idea of uh, the way that they're working together and there might be a way to tap the um, use it to track that data and to be able to identify uh, whether predictors of whether uh, the group was going to complete a project on time on budget and in fact uh, there was and so that uh, particular capability of looking at uh, the way that files are shared by team members who are codependent on each other for information um, has become the basis for a company called Cloud Leaps, uh, which is now providing services, especially to the construction industry, uh, where you have uh, designers, you have engineers, you have architects, you have people from a wide variety of disciplines, and you hope that they're all thinking about the same building. 
That's exciting. So for the folks out there, go to mediax.stanford.edu. You can go to that. It's their website. So it's a stanford.edu website, but it's mediax, mediax.stanford.edu. Um, just some themes here is I just want to share with the folks out there. Image, speech, and language processing. Natural language research, video processing, human machine interaction and sensing, um, collaboration, participating online media content. We just had Lynda.com on earlier. I mean, this is cutting edge stuff. This is not like you know, you know, how to you know get someone to get better Twitter followers or how to get liked on Facebook. This is like we're looking, really kind of changing. We're looking the world. for the best questions, and in order to get the best questions, we partner with industry, um, our industry members, our strategic partners. Talk to us about what, how they see the future. We listen very closely, we listen deeply for that, and we take out of that some of the questions, some of the uncertainties about the future, and challenge the labs at Stanford to find new ways of addressing those uncertainties with research activities. Now, in the course of doing that, students get PhDs, uh, their postdocs are engaged in um, activities, there are project-based courses that are working on assignments, and so education happens. We're contributing to the fund of uh, science, uh, contributing to new knowledge, uh, but we're also with that creating insights that have business relevance. And people are, are you said catalysts, so they're starting yeah. companies. And some, some that's are, one of the best ways that our insights leave the university yeah. is um, in the minds of graduates as they take those ideas either into uh, their employers or into companies that they How start. How do companies get involved? So I'm, I'm Mr. Big Public Company and I've been cutting R&D for a while and you know during the downtimes and you know before the during the financial crisis in 2008 or before you know, there's been a big discussion around R&D being cut. I want to invest, because we're seeing a lot of investment now in mobile cloud social, kind of this new transformation, new user experiences. How do I get involved with MediaX? There is a program for companies, there right? Is. So can you explain that? We are a membership organization, and we have several levels of membership. The associate membership uh, gives a company the opportunity to bring, to identify a theme that's of interest to them, and to bring a number of people from the company to campus for presentations from faculty applying uh, faculty expertise to uh, some of the questions that are brought. And we also have a strategic partner program in which uh, our strategic partners team with us and we collaborate on framing a question that goes out as an RFP to the Stanford Labs. Well, I'm excited. Uh, obviously at SiliconANGLE, Wikibon, we're, we want to change the media business. We're, we think we're inventing the future, applying big data, open source like content. We'll see if our experiment works, but uh, you guys are certainly doing some amazing work out there. Really impressed and looking forward to talking further. There are some great stories that are on our website, mediax.stanford.edu. Uh, I will tell you that recently Stanford has established a new lab that we're very excited about. It's called the Lytics Lab, after analytics. And we've heard a lot of conversations about big data today, about um, the way that um, personalization and uh, enterprise services are coming together, or at least the challenges are identified in the same, uh, in the same symposium yeah, yeah. today. And so the Lytics Lab uh, has teams of students drawn interdisciplinary from communication, computer science, education, engineering, that are looking at ways to uh, attack and leverage uh, the data that's being collected. For example, in the massively open online courses that Stanford has been a leader in establishing. And- um, Like what are they looking for in there? The, the, the data of the people taking the classes, or well, is you it? Know, so much is unknown about who's taking them, what their motives are, and how they progress um, with various um, levels of engagement over the course, over the you know the yeah, period. And that's of been course. a hugely successful program. I mean, it has many many people have taken classes at Stanford. That so never there's even a lot of data, and um, some of the early work that's research that's been done on it and a really brilliant conference paper that was presented by uh, three students uh, computer science education and communication looked at the different types of learners that are moving through um, a course on a MOOC 
and what their motives are, and how they engage, disengage, re-engage uh, over the course of. Is it, and then you said that information is on the FAQs on the website, or that particular information is not yet. It is. Uh, it has just barely been presented. Okay. But, you mean the paper uh, or the analytics lab, or uh, both? Both. There is some information on the Lytics lab online. And uh, I think it's litics, L-Y-T-I-C-S, dot Stanford, dot E-D-U. And more information will be available. We're very Great. excited about and, that And program. who's running that lab? Uh, it's run by Roy P. and John Mitchell. Awesome. Roy P. is the faculty director of Media X and uh, is in the Graduate School of Education. John Mitchell is in the vice provost's office responsible for online learning at Stanford. Like I was telling Susanna, you guys have a treasure trove of, in, of, of information. Uh, you are certainly a catalyst. Very impressive. We love your charter. Um, Silicon Angle just bumped into you guys from working with Excel for this event. And uh, I was like, wow, this is really an amazing group and something that uh, we hope to get some, do some Thank content you. And with. And you know and it changes all the time. We want to come You in. might get the latest story today, but you have to come back next week <laughs> no. because there'll be another story. I want to come back in and talk to some of the researchers <laughs> we interested in following the Lytics Lab. We, you know, our motto when I started SiliconANGLE four years ago was where computer science meets social science. It's been the bedrock of our, of our mission. I'll say that we're the first media company to cover cloud mobile and social. We use predictive analytics. We love this new market. Well, we gets, share a lot of interest yes, then. We, we have a lot of good stories for you. We're happy to come in and mine, mine all that content and get it out and free it and make it fly and frictionless around the world, as Mark Hopkins would say. So, Terrific. Uh, Martha, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thank you. Th and we're looking forward to talking further. This is SiliconAngle.com, exclusive coverage of Stanford XL Symposium here in Stanford University in Stanford, California. I'm John Furrier. We'll be right back with our next guest after the short break.